Hi, I'm Akash Singh Dator. I'm one of the co-authors, along with Ramina Mohapatra, of Hegel's India, Reinterpretation with Texts, published by Oxford University Press this year. We're very excited to learn that Hegel's India has been nominated for Best Book of the Year 2017 in the non-fiction category at the Mumbai Lit Fest. It's also a bit surprising because this is an academic work and it's a philosophical one. It's one that treats one of the most notoriously difficult philosophers to understand, the German, 19th century German philosopher Hegel. So the question that we would be asked naturally is why are people today in the year 2017 turning towards this book? Um, what are they looking for in an academic philosophical work by a German philosopher? And uh, it's a bit intriguing to think about. It's, a, it's something of a puzzle. But I think I understand it. In the first place, we interpret, reinterpret Hegel's own writings about India. This is the thesis of the book. Everybody who knows anything about Hegel, which is not too many people, know that Hegel wrote a great deal about Indian art, religion, philosopher, philosophy, history, and civilization. But people don't pay too much attention to it. What we do in our book is we pay a great deal of attention to it, exclusive attention. We ask what was the motive behind Hegel's really decades-long obsession with India. And what we hypothesize is that he was really struggling to figure out how to fit Indian art, religion, and philosophy into his own system of thought. Would it be organic to his thought, central to his thought, or is it something he just needed to exclude and eliminate? And this is interesting because it's the very same question that a lot of people, a lot of thinking people are asking today. What is the nature of the Indian traditions, of Indian art, religion, philosophy? How much of it do I assimilate into my own way of life? What does it have to do with the nature of, of uh, our conceptions of the nation, of being Indian, and so on? And I think a lot of people are are turning to Hegel's India because it it makes objective. You you the reader doesn't have to. The reader gets a little bit of distance from these questions that are so, in some respects, ominous for us. And uh, you watch a great mind like Hegel struggle with the very same questions that we ourselves are struggling with today. I hope you will uh, pick up the book and have a look and see what it is that makes people, it's gotten people excited about it. It was a joy to, to write and uh, I hope you enjoy reading it. Thank you.